What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Last Drafts Baseball Card Break. And today we're going to do our second Bowman Blaster Box of 2022. And we've got, uh, we already had one in the books about three or four weeks ago. This product has been out for a while, but we do like Bowman and we like all the stuff it brings. So we are going to do ourselves Blaster Box number two. I haven't really seen any fat packs for this product this year, which is a little disappointing because we did last year and there was a lot of uh, what you would call... Um, I'd say a lot of the camo product comes in that. We haven't seen any of those on our shelves this year. Uh, you can again hold this and be able to see what the uh, odds are if you want to uh, pause the video. So we are going to break this baby up today. Uh, how many packs do you get? Well, you get a bunch. And you've got, what is there in this one here? You've got a total, I believe, of 72 cards. And you got to look for the green parallels and everything else. So there is the flip side to that. So now that we've seen that, now it's time to get down to business. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six packs. Six packs of 12 cards each. That gets us to our 72. All right. We got a Yankee on the back, Alexander Vargas. And we start off with Mike Trout. So maybe that's a good omen. This box is going to start us off with a Trout. Then we have a follow-up with Luis Robert. That's pretty cool. Christian Yelich, who's playing better this year, but not at his MVP caliber that he had a couple years ago. Kyle Lewis for the Mariners. There is Hyun Jin Ryu. For those of you Blue Jay fans, uh, when I'm doing this video, he just got himself hurt a bit. There's Andrew Vaughn, who was a top bat a couple years ago in the draft, one of the best bats. There is Carlos Comanares, and I don't know him. He's a high future, apparently, for the Tampa Bay Rays. There is Braylon Minier. It's a Bowman first. It's in the chrome, so that's kind of, or actually that's paper. Bowman first in paper. There's Luke Waddell. He is another Bowman first, and that is an Atlanta Brave shortstop. Brady Allen, I've seen him a couple of times. Miami Marlin, that's a Bowman first for him. And now we get some chrome first. We got a Junior Sanchez, and already we have a parallel card. Uh, and that is Alexander Vargas, and it is a parallel out of 199 in the chrome. So, boom, just like that, we got something to get excited about. I am excited about a Chrome card for Alexander Vargas, numbered to 199. So, do we have anything left in the box? I hope so. I hope that's not the one and done card that we're only going to get. Let's see if we can get another numbered parallel. So, uh, here is the next one. We got Robert Perez on the back for the Brew Crew. And we kick it off with the Xander Bogarts card. So, we got Bogey. There's Pete Alonzo. Andrew Benatendi, who got off to a hot start this year, but he's kind of quieted off as of late. There's Joe Ryan. That's his rookie card. Joe Ryan. There is a Josiah Gray. I really like his breaking ball. That's pretty good. And, and we got another numbered card. So I don't know. Is this a version of a hot box? It's a Mike Trout numbered to 199 and a purple one nonetheless. So 96 out of 199, two cards in the box that are... What I would consider pretty solid hits. We follow that with a Max Meyer, former University of Minnesota player. Jason Dominguez, who is getting it going now with the down in the minors. We've got a Braylon Bello. I don't know anything about him. He is that's a Bowman first paper, followed up by a Mizabel Urbina. And then we've got back to the this again. We saw him a moment ago in the paper. That's Bray, uh, Braylon Minner, and then we've had Hedbert Perez. So a couple of the chrome cards at the back. Let's see if we can make it three numbered cards in a row. How sick would that be? That would be pretty awesome. I didn't know if they had hot boxes in the blasters, but we would sure hope that they do. Let's get off uh, and start off with Rodolfo Castro. So Castro's our lead off. There's Connor Wong. He hits the second one. We've had Josh Lowe. He is our third one. Nelson Cruz. Nelson Cruz, another one there, veteran guy. Max Scherzer. And then we've got ourselves a Chris Bryant. And what do we have in the middle here? We've got a rookie of the year favorite of Jackson Cowar, or Coar. And he's definitely not a favorite right now. He might have been before they printed these, but definitely not now. There's a paper of Michael Triana of the Cincinnati Reds, first baseman. There's Fran Aldui of the Guardians. And then we got an Ellie De La Cruz, another paper one. Some people are talking about De La Cruz, especially those in Cincinnati. There's Diego Velasquez. And a Bowman first of Victor Lizarraga. So Velasquez and Lizarraga, kind of cool. Halfway through, no numbered cards in that one, but what more can you expect when you land a Trout and a one of 
the prospect for the Yankees. There's a Harry Ford on the back. Harry Ford is the top pick of the Mariners, catcher. Josh Donaldson leads it off for us. We go to Jared Kalenich. He's had an abysmal season, and he got himself sent down. Garrett Cole of the Yankees, followed by Jose Barrero of the Reds. Freddie Freeman for the Atlanta Braves, no longer a Brave, followed by Juan Soto. And then we've got a, a Virtuistic Vibrations. I don't believe that card is numbered, but it is Marco Luciano of the San Francisco Giants. We follow it up with a Blaze Jordan card for the Red Sox. Helio Ramos, he had a card last year. Ramos did. And here we have a Luis Matos. And now we follow it up with a couple more chromes. We got Diego Cartea and a, there's, of course, the Harry Ford. Not his Bowman first, though. All righty, we're on to our next pack. And let's see how this one's going to fare for us. And on the back, there is Luis Matos again. So a couple of Matoses. You see a pattern there. Marcus Simeon, he probably wishes he was still a Toronto Blue Jay. He's not had a great season with the Texas Rangers thus far. Seth Beer of the Arizona Diamondbacks. There's Brandon Marsh. He's been playing pretty well for the Angels this year, holding down the center field duties. Jake Berger's been getting some third base duty for the, for the White Sox. There's Jesse Winker, who's now a Mariner. Javi Baez of the Tigers, up and down season for Javi. And then we've got ourselves number five prospect in the top 100. That is Bobby Witt Jr. Bobby Witt Jr., uh, I think he could be a 30-30 guy in a year or two. Jose Rodriguez, that's his Bowman first. Kevin Alcantara, that's not his Bowman first. We got another Bowman first of Jackson Chirillo, the Milwaukee Brewers. We've got Emmanuel Rodriguez for the Twins, and we follow that with the Luis Matos. And now we're down to our last pack, hoping for some last pack magic. And let's see how this is going to shape up for us. So there is Hiberto Hernandez on the back. Who do we have on the front? Well, we kick it off with a Nick Madrigal. Madrigal was, of course, the top, one of the top picks in the draft by the White Sox. He was flipped last year to the Cubs. There's Matt Chapman. He's currently patrolling third base for the Blue Jays. Dylan Carlson off to a decent follow-up year to his rookie year. Paul Goldschmidt. Alec Bohm seems to pull his head out of his, uh, well, you know, the proverbial backside. He's having a nice year right now for the Phillies. There's Ryan Mountcastle for the Orioles. And we got an auto. How about this for a box? A Bowman first of Isan Santana. So two numbered cards and an auto. Can't do better than that in this variation of Bowman Chrome. You gotta like it. So we're gonna pop that one over here so we get a chance to see it at the end. There's Shaylin Polanco. I hear good things about him. A lot of good stuff to talk about in the Pirates organization. And speaking of which, there's Leovar Peguero. I got Averson Ortega, another paper one. And then we've got Jose Pastrano and there, Hiberto Hernandez to close it all off. So... We got a numbered Trout, a numbered Yankee prospect of Vargas, and we got an autographed Bowman first of Eason Santana for the Cubs. And he's a second baseman shortstop. Let us know what you think about this break. We thought we did pretty good, way better than our first break we did a few weeks ago. Check it out. Check that one out. Compare them up. Let us know what you think. We're going to do this all over again. That's Bowman for 2022. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you again later.